Now in this video, we will derive the equation for EMF induced in a DC machine and we will also solve few numerical problems. So you know that armature is the rotating part and when it rotates, it cuts the flux and therefore an EMF is induced in it. Therefore, in every DC machine, whether it is used as a generator or as a motor, an EMF is always induced in the armature winding. Now, we will derive the expression for EMF induced in armature of a DC machine. Let us now derive EMF equation of a DC generator. Now let phi is equal to flux per pole in Weber. So flux produced by one pole is phi Weber. Z is equal to total number of armature conductors. And these total number of armature conductors are equal to number of slots multiplied by number of conductors per slot. Then P is equal to number of poles. A is equal to number of parallel paths in armature winding. We have seen that A is equal to P in case of lap winding and A is equal to 2 in case of wave winding. N is equal to speed of armature in revolutions per minute. So the armature is rotating at a speed of N RPM. Now let E is equal to EMF induced in any one parallel path in the armature in volt. So in one parallel path number of conductors are Z divided by A because total number of conductors are Z and number of parallel paths are A and therefore number of conductors in one path it is Z upon A and therefore EMF induced in Z upon A conductors it is equal to E and the generated EMF EG is same as E. So EG is equal to EMF induced in any one parallel path that is equal to E. Now you know the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So according to Faraday's law E is equal to N d phi by dt. Now in this case number of turns is equal to 1 because we are considering EMF generated in one conductor. So therefore average EMF generated in one conductor is equal to d phi by dt. Here d phi is equal to flux cut and dt is the time in which that flux is cut. Now when a conductor completes one revolution, it passes through P number of poles and the flux produced by one pole, it is phi. So when a conductor completes one revolution, then flux cut d phi is equal to phi into P Weber. So flux cut by one conductor in one revolution which is nothing but d phi, it is equal to phi p Weber. Now speed of machine is n rpm and therefore number of revolutions in one second is equal to n upon 60. So armature completes n upon 60 revolutions in one second and therefore time required to complete one revolution 
which is nothing but dt will be the reciprocal of this that is 60 upon n seconds and therefore dt is equal to 60 upon n seconds so we know that emf induced is d phi by dt substituting the values of d phi that is n by 60 sorry uh, d phi that is phi p and dt that is 60 upon n we will get the average emf generated in one conductor and hence emf generated in one conductor is equal to d phi by dt which is equal to phi pn upon 60 volt now in one parallel path number of armature conductors in series are equal to z divided by a here z is total number of armature conductors and a is number of parallel paths and therefore number of armature conductors in series in one parallel path it is equal to z divided by a and emf induced in one conductor it is phi pn upon 60 and therefore emf induced in one parallel path that is emf induced in z upon a conductors will be equal to phi pn upon 60 multiplied by z upon a and therefore generated emf eg it is equal to phi pn upon 60 into z upon a volt so this is called as emf equation of a generator so emf equation of a dc generator is given by eg is equal to phi pn upon 60 into z by a volt here phi is flux per pole p is number of poles n is speed in rpm z is number of armature conductors and a is number of parallel paths now we know that there are two types of armature windings wave winding and lap winding so in case of wave winding number of parallel paths a it is equal to 2 and therefore eg is phi pn upon 60 into z upon 2 whereas for simplex lap winding number of parallel paths a is equal to p and therefore eg is equal to phi pn upon 60 into z upon p volt so here you can see that eg is directly proportional to phi and n because all other quantities are constant and therefore generated emf it depends on the flux per pole phi and speed of armature in revolutions per minute so here you have to note one important thing that this emf equation is applicable for both generator as well as motor so when the machine is working as generator the armature rotates because of the prime mover whereas in case of motor the armature rotates due to the action of a machine as motor so in both cases armature rotates in the magnetic field produced by field poles and therefore emf will be induced in the armature in case of generator as well as in case of motor now in case of motor according to lenz law the induced emf acts in a direction opposite to the applied voltage so in motor the induced emf always opposes the applied voltage and therefore this emf 
is known as back emf now the significance of back emf we will study afterwards but here you should remember that in case of dc motor back emf eb it is equal to 5 pn upon 60 into z upon a volt so in case of dc motor also emf will be induced in the armature and it always opposes the applied voltage and that's why it is known as back emf now let us solve the numerical problem an 8 pole means p is equal to 8 wave wound generator wave wound means number of parallel paths a is equal to 2 has 15 slots so number of slots is equal to 15 with each slot containing 30 conductors so number of conductors per slot is equal to 30 if the flux per pole is 0.006 weber means phi is equal to 0.006 weber and the speed is 1400 rpm means n is equal to 1400 rpm what will be the induced emf we have to calculate the induced emf and second is at what speed the machine should run to produce the same voltage if the armature is lap wound so first of all let us solve for wave wound generator so in case of so before that we have to calculate total number of conductors z so z is equal to 15 15 multiplied by 30 which is equal to 450 then in case of wave wound generator you know that a is equal to 2 now eg is equal to 5 pn upon 60 into z upon a so substituting all the values you will get eg as 252 volt now to obtain 252 volt what should be the speed of machine if the armature is lap wound now if the armature is lap wound in this case a is equal to p and p is equal to 8 now the speed is n is equal to eg into 60 into a divided by 5 pz again substituting all the values you will get n as 5600 rpm means to obtain the same voltage we have to rotate the armature at 5600 rpm instead of 1400 rpm if the machine is lap wound now let us solve one more numerical problem now a four pole dc generator means number of poles p is equal to 4 has a flux of 0.006 weber means phi is equal to 0.006 weber and runs at 1500 rpm so n is equal to 1500 revolutions per minute the number of slots is 50 number of slots is equal to 50 and number of conductors per slot number of conductors per slot is 20 the current carrying capacity of each armature conductor is 20 ampere means current in each armature conductor i is equal to 20 ampere now we have to find generated voltage generated current and power supplied if the winding is first wave connected and second lap connected now let us first solve for wave connected generator 
now before that we have to calculate the number of conductors z so z is equal to 50 into 20 that is 1000 conductors now for wave wound generator first of all we can calculate generated voltage so eg is given by phi pn upon 60 into z upon a so which is equal to 0.006 into 4 into 1500 into 1000 divided by 60 into 2 which is equal to 300 volt so generated voltage will be 300 volt if the generator is wave wound now current in one conductor it is 20 ampere now in case of wave wound generator there are two parallel paths and therefore total armature current will be equal to 20 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 40 ampere so armature current will be equal to 40 ampere and power is the product of eg and ia and therefore p is equal to eg into ia which is 300 multiplied by 40 which is equal to 12000 watt or it is equal to 12 kilowatt so the power output will be 12 kilowatt if the generator is wave wound now let us solve for second type of connection that is lap wound generator so if the generator is lap wound again eg is phi pn upon 60 into z upon a substituting all the values you will get eg is equal to 150 volt then armature current in this case will be equal to 20 into 4 because in this case the armature is lap wound and in case of lap winding number of parallel paths is equal to number of poles and therefore number of parallel paths a is equal to 4 and therefore armature current i a is equal to 20 into 4 which is equal to 80 ampere again power is the product of eg and ia so it is equal to 12000 watt or it is equal to 12 kilowatt so here you can see that in case of wave wound generator generated voltage is more because number of conductors in one parallel path are more here generated emf is less because there are four parallel paths and therefore number of conductors in one parallel path are z by 4 here number of conductors in one parallel path are z by 2 but in case of wave wound generator current is less because number of parallel paths are less and power output will be same even if the generator is wave wound or lap wound and therefore wave wound generator is suitable if high voltage is required whereas in case of lap wound generator voltage will be less but current will be more in our next video we will study types of generators thank you stay home stay safe